So this is IRB Committee and Admin Part 2. Uh, we, in the Part 1, looked at protocols and how you manage protocols. And this time, we're going to look at some of the additional functions that the uh, committee and, and admin have on the IRB Admin page. Uh, we'll do IRB Setup then in the next video. So annual reports, continuing reviews. Uh, this page lists those that are due and uh, lists them in, in, in order, uh, ascending order by date. Highlights those that are overdue. Uh, so these are overdue. So uh, presumably the chair will want to go after those folks and uh, get those get those input into the system. So you have a nice way to uh, uh, get a, uh, get a listing of protocols that are uh, are, are due for for review or termination. Uh, adverse events, DSMB reports, protocol deviations. Again, if your IRB doesn't use these functions, uh, you can uh, switch them off. But uh, this is a convenient way to look up these categories. In, in our Fairfield University IRB, we don't have any of these either. So uh, those, those pages are en empty. Uh, amendments, likewise, uh, I don't believe we have any amendments now that we have two here. Uh, so this simply li lists the uh, the amendments. Uh, so again, an alternative way to get at specific types of uh, activity uh, that uh, is, is, is going on with, with protocols. The PI documents page, if you are uh, requiring certification by your IRB members or by your uh, investigators, this page shows who has completed their certification when it's due uh, and the due date is based on the number of weeks that you set in the uh, setup. So we'll talk about that under setup. Uh, Mentor highlights those who uh, are, are out of date uh, and uh, there's a function to remind uh, those members whose who's, uh, certification is out of date uh, to uh, complete that certification and renew it and get it uploaded. Uh, so you can see here you can download the certificate um, and this information appears on the protocol pages themselves. Uh, the agenda function is uh, one of the most time-saving features of the mentor system and uh, what this does is uh, when you create a meeting uh, mentor will generate an agenda based on the protocols that are in the since the last meeting agenda up until that the, the date of that uh, meeting agenda and mentor pre-populates it with uh, all the information about these protocols so you can see there's a category here for all the different statuses of protocols and uh, you have here the exempt protocols mentors pre-populated this with a list of exempt protocols uh, down here protocols that have been selected as QI uh, we've got new protocols expedited review approval and so forth uh, any of these items that uh, are not have no 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 information you can set them to be skipped you can also skip individual protocols so if a protocol comes in late it will appear on the agenda but you can skip it uh, anything that's skipped is going to go forward to the next meeting agenda uh, both the uh, IRB committee members and the chair and administrator can uh, access the full protocol by clicking on this link. They can download the individual files for the protocol right here from the agenda. So this is a great way to go through and review all the materials for a meeting uh, rather than uh, searching for these protocols back on the protocols page. Uh, in addition to being able to skip an item, there's also an agenda notes function uh, so that you can type in uh, your, let's type in your agenda notes and that will appear right on the item right there. And in addition, there's a discussion notes form. So this uh, would be the meeting notes and uh, essentially you can construct your minutes uh, right here on this page uh, by adding in your agenda notes and then your discussion notes um, and then when you save this to PDF that's all written in stone and uh, archived uh, for future reference and audit trail. So this is a great way to start a meeting, create the agenda uh, and, and manage your minutes as well. One final thing then on this page is reports. Uh, Mentor generates uh, an annual report for the IRB. Uh, you can do it on the academic year, the calendar year, or by date range. And Mentor summarizes the number of protocols uh, in the different categories, shows you how many uh, protocols in each of the uh, status protocol status categories, and shows you protocols by meetings. Uh, the other report here is to do this by school, and you can select a school, and uh, that will uh, 
allow you to uh, give a report to each school at your institution.